Hey, what up, YouTubers? It's your boy Alter Tech I'm back again with a new video. And today we have V1 Plus 7 Pro. I want to give you guys a quick tutorial on how to edit raw format videos or, sorry, photos on your One Plus 7 Pro. So let's get to it real quick. Now, if you don't know how to take photos in raw format, I want you guys to open up the stock camera app. I want you guys to go into this menu and tap on Pro. So get into Pro mode, and there should be four icons over here. I want you guys to tap on the third one from the top, like so. Now, initially, if you haven't done this before, it's probably gonna say JPG. I want you guys to change it to RAW or RAW. So let's go ahead and snap a photo, and let's go into the gallery, and let me show you guys real quick what we're working with. So this is gonna take two photos. One of them is going to be one that's altered with software processing, and it's also condensed. So what I mean by that, the size of it is going to be a lot smaller than the raw format. So it's about 1.99 megabytes, not too big, but check out the raw photo. So when they mean raw, it means it's not edited. The smartphone did not do any edits to it. It didn't touch it. It didn't do any processing. And this is the photo that the camera actually captured. So this is about 22.91 megabytes. So you know, see a lot of the reasons, well, the main reason why a lot of smartphone companies, they condense the photos is because it's easier for people to send and especially when, you know, text messaging and whatnot. So we're not at the age where you could just, you know, you know, zap in a file that quick. Not everyone has, you know, fast internet speeds. Um, anyways, so let's go ahead and edit these raw photos. So what I'm using, it's called Adobe Lightroom and it's available in the Google Play Store. Now I know it's uh, Snapseed. A lot of people like to use Snapseed, but for some reason I just can't get it to work. It just takes forever to load up. So let's go ahead and open up Lightroom real quick. And I want you guys to tap on this button on the bottom with the little plus sign. So let's go ahead and add a photo. Okay, so you're just gonna pick the photo you want and make sure it says raw on it. So I do, I've already added my photos. Let me just go ahead and find them real quick. So these are some of the photos I was able to take in the Bahamas. And let me go ahead and find that raw photo. Okay, I guess it's not here. Let me go ahead and just re-add it. Nope, okay, raw format. So I'm gonna hit add. And okay, so it was imported. So go to all photos and this photo I'm guessing this is it right here so this is the photo I added raw format let's open that up and let's go ahead and see what we could do with this so as you guys can see um, there's a lot of detail and when you're using raw format you're it's keeping a lot of the detail which you actually lose from the software processing so let's say you know this is the photo that was taken and then the computer inside this phone will be software processing it's going to you know alter it draw over it and then it's going to save it and then you're going to have to save the file so anything that you know happens before the edits you're not going to be able to get so this is why photographers actually prefer using shooting in raw so they could do their own edits but for many people they don't have time to do that stuff so anyway so now we do have time and we are going to edit our photos so let me just give you guys a quick idea now for some reason on Lightroom it does a really damn good job of auto editing your photos so this is the auto editing button so let's go ahead and tap that and as you guys can see everything seems to be a lot more bright uh, the shadows was you know brightened up and um, overall the picture looks a lot brighter and a little bit more detailed as you guys can see so let's go ahead and actually let's edit it on our own so let me just hit the undo button so what you guys want to do is you guys want to bring up those dark shadows and you could do that simply by i believe it's this one shadows um the light so you want to tap on that little sunny icon and here you have a couple options you have the exposure contrast highlights shadows whites and black so these are your shadows it's pretty dark and let's go ahead and see if we could bump that up a little bit so as you guys can see so this is getting brighter so the shadows is getting bumped up and for this the highlights for some reason it's coming out way too bright on my phone you could always go ahead and change the highlights and just turn it down 
like so so it's a lot more balanced and another thing you guys could do is you guys could go ahead and go into the um, hit this triangle and you should have the option of you know maybe sharpening your photo a little bit more or you know adding some more detail or even adding some noise reduction because sometimes in low light situations what you have in you know in darkness is a lot of noise and that's when you actually bump up the ISO or way too high and that could happen or it's just you know you're dealing with some real intense low light situations so you could actually try to use some softer processing over here and try to you know cover that up a little bit so there's a lot of things you guys could do over here you could also you know change the color temperature the tints the saturation levels maybe you guys don't like this purplish eff effect you could change it so it's a little bit more on the warmer side you know make it a little bit more realistic i'm not exactly sure why it came out a little bit on the purplish side it might have been it must have been the settings on the pro mode but anyways so i'll give you guys an idea of what uh raw and auto mode is like on the oneplus 7 pro so let me go ahead and open up gallery and let me just open up the so this is the raw photo Now this was a picture of my room, it was a bit messy, but holy crap, this came out so goddamn good. Everything came out very clear, and I was able to edit it, you know, change the temperature, the tint, and as you guys can see, I mean, the camera system on this, it's pretty damn good. It's just up to, you know, what kind of camera software you're actually using. I know there's Gcam available, you know, not rely on them, you could also just edit them on your own and work on your photography skills and your photo editing skills so to me that's actually the beauty of using a oneplus device it has a pro mode and unlike you know phones like the google pixel which takes amazing photos um this gives you more control um, and if you're a photographer and if you like taking photos and you want to get into photography uh this would be a nice step to get into that world um, there's a lot of things you're gonna you know need to learn like you know when it comes to you know editing the exposure uh, contrast saturation levels things like that anyways people this is alter tech with his little mini tutorial on how to edit video i'm oh, sorry photos on the oneplus 7 pro with raw formats if you guys liked it please hit the like button if you guys want to see more videos like this be sure to let me know this is alter tech signing out hope you guys have a great and wonderful night Peace.